Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all prayers, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who grew well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here pushing his truth and sincerity. The water for what you do, we love you, we appreciate you through the spirit, all right? Um, Salak, yeah. Uh, you know, hey, listen, if you're watching this right now and you're so-called black, Native American, or Latino man or woman, you are a Hebrew Israelite, all right? Thus say it the Bible. All right. America will be destroyed by nuclear thermal, uh, nuclear, uh, thermal, nuclear, nuclear missiles. Salahia, um, who the world ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh, which is he is or he exists. Um, if he's talking, he would say I am. All right. Um, and who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which is his son and our Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh Shai, all right? He is the Savior. He is our Savior. That's what the word, yeah, that's what the name Yahweh Shai means, okay? Listen, all right? We got some problems here, all right? This place is going to be destroyed, all right? And now you have shit like this going on, and this is further, this right here is, is, is further reason why this place is going to be destroyed. You black bitches, you women, you proud ass women, and all you fucking, all you fucking women are proud, man. Not just black bitches, man. So called black bitches, but all you fucking women, Salakia. But you, you, I'm not trying to be like, you know, using all this rude speech. You know, I kind of want to keep it clean, but at the same time, man, listen, this is a reason why y'all gonna be destroyed for things like this. Thus say the Bible. You know what I'm saying? You doing things like this, finding God at a Beyonce mass. Are, are y'all kidding me, man? Are y'all, are y'all, how bugged out are you people where you would have the audacity, man, to come up and, and create a church to worship anything other than Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man? You know what I'm saying? What, 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 what will cause you, man? Ain't nothing but pure demons. You know what I'm saying? Look at this, this, this so-called black bitch on the, on the left and look at that fucking so-called, uh, black bitch. On the right, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just clearly a problem here, man. Just looking right here, there's clearly a problem here. Before I even click on the video, but we're gonna do a quick uh, breakdown of this video right here, man. And you know what? Um, the Heavenly Father gonna destroy these people, man. You know what I'm saying? This is this is this is enough is enough, man. Like enough is enough, man. You know what I'm saying? How long will you simple ones, man? You know what I'm saying? Right now that cup is running over, man. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into the video real quick, man. We're going to break this down because there's a lot of things said in this video that shouldn't be said. I um shouldn't things going on that shouldn't be done. You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing way too much, man. It's just pure blasphemy against the heavenly against the heavenly father, man. All right, look, first things first, man. Grace is something that was put in place, all right, by the Heavenly Father to give to us when we go off, um, you know, in, and we, and we want to repent. You know what I'm saying? Certain things, like, like, like not knowing this truth. You understand what I'm saying? Like waking up to this truth and understand that you've been sinning. You know what I'm saying? And, and you trying to, and you trying to better your life. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to better yourself and you you want to make it into the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? Not and not make it through through pain and, and death and destruction. You want to be saved. You want to be delivered. That's what grace is for. When you don't know nothing, then you got to be reborn, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and certain certain laws have are, are you, you, you have grace for if you break them either accidentally or, um, you know, unknowingly, un unwillingly. But when you're doing things like this, blasphemy, blasphemy against the Heavenly Father in His name, and worshiping other gods, you will, you will, and you know what you're doing. You will surely be put to death, man. You worshiping other gods, man, right? Worshiping, uh, uh, and not other gods because there is no other gods. But you worshiping uh, uh, idols. You know what I'm saying? This is idol worship, man. Look at this nigga holding up a sign of Beyonce Mass. 
And he's dressed in all black, man. Looking like the fucking Undertaker, man. Looking like a homo, man. He probably is a taker. A butt taker, man. Like, come on, man. Some, you people are going off, man. Really, really quick, though. I'm just going to get a quick scripture, right? It's like, you know what? I'm going to keep playing this and then I'm going to get a scripture. Bringing together secular music and a religious message to tell a story of empowerment for particularly women of color, but for anyone who happens to... you going off way off right there, all right? The, the, the scriptures are not written to bring any woman into power, especially not the fucking, not the woman of color, especially not the woman of color. Because of women of color, we are in a predicament that we are in right now. Because of Eve and, and, and the man and Adam listening to Eve, stupid ass, we, we in hell, we in captivity right now, man. So what do you mean, particularly women of color? What are you talking about? Women of color are the reason why we're in the state that we in right now, man. Yo, the, 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 the freaking nerve of you women, man. You're proud, man. You so damn proud, man. When will you be humble? When will you be quiet, man? There is an order to, these, to this stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? There is an order to the spirit, man. The Heavenly Father set up... It's, it's the heavenly father, which is Yahweh, all right? Then it's his son, which the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls Yah um, Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. Then it's the man. Then it is you and the children, all right? Cut all that women empowerment shit out, man. You, you, you women are bugged out, man. And particularly women in power, like a win of women of color, it's because of, the, because of the women in color that we're here right now. And, and you're still, you're still, you're still doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? You're still trying to, trying to get men and the rest of the world to worship. You're trying to get men to worship you still. When will y'all, yo, when will y'all not, when will y'all not understand, man? When will y'all, when will y'all learn, man? When will y'all learn, man? You claim, you women claim that that men don't go through the things that you go through, like like pregnancy, right? I'm a yo, listen, this is a spirit because I'm literally at the hospital right now with my rib, and she's going through, um, she she's in labor. She, you know what I'm saying, she's uh, um, she's being induced. You know what I'm saying, and she's going through all these these contractions and different pains. And I'm gonna keep it real with you. I never seen nothing like that, like in person. You know what I'm saying? And nothing needs to even happen yet, man. She's just going through uh, contractions right now, and that's and that's like right now. That's the worst part. You know what I'm saying? Right now, as 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 of, as the moment, at the moment, and and yo, that the whole time I'm I'm watching her go through this stuff. I'm like, yo, that's crazy because of how the heavenly father is, how how he punished y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy because how he punished y'all. And so that this can always happen every time you women um get pregnant and you and you have a baby. They're like this is crazy. Yet you you continue to do things like make a Beyonce mask. Yo, don't y'all know that that is like the like worship of other gods. It's like like the it's like one of the top, if not the top, um us uh, ascend the break. You know what I'm saying? And they all they're all equal because um you know you don't break one or the other, but Certain um, sins broken have different punishments, man. And you women don't understand this shit, man. You don't fear the Heavenly Father, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't fear the Heavenly Father because if you did, you will obey, obey His law, statutes, and commandments, man. And that's how you know women women are not smart. Y'all claim to be, yo, y'all not smart, man. Y'all have no knowledge, man. All right? Which, that's going to bring me to my first scripture right there. One second. Right? Because cause why? Let's see why. I have no knowledge, man. Bear with me. It's like it. It's like it. It's like it. Yeah, man, y'all ain't got no knowledge, man. Because if you had knowledge, you know what I'm saying? It's like you. 
you had knowledge, I would know better, man. This is uh, Proverbs 1 and 7. It says, the fear of the Lord, the King James Version, so like you. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. All right? This shit right here, nigga, this shit right here is what fools do, man. You despise wisdom and instruction, all right? The instructions were to put the Heavenly Father first, Yahweh Shai second, then the man, then you and the children. But nah, man. Y'all don't got no wisdom, man. Y'all don't have fear of the Heavenly Father because if you did, you would follow his law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we're going to continue to watch this blasphemy right here. Sing praises to the goddess herself, Beyonce. To the goddess herself. All right, well, look, you know what? Let's see what the Heavenly Father think about you having other idols. One second. <clears throat> yeah, man. Let's see what uh, the Heavenly Father thinks about the uh, think about goddesses. Um, it's like you. Yeah, because you're not supposed to worship anybody else, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what? I'm gonna have to use the. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to use. Let me see something really quick. Then I have to change my my source here. Oh no, no, we're good. I'm gonna start at. This is uh, Exodus chapter 32, verse 19. I'm gonna start at 19, and it says, "And it came to pass as soon as he came nigh unto the camp." Oh, so lucky. Yeah, this might not be the King James version. This is the King James version. All right, come on, come on. So lucky. Yeah. So it says, "This is a uh, um." Exodus chapter 32 verse 19 it says and it came to pass as soon as he came nigh unto the camp that he saw the calf and the dancing right and Moses anger waxed hot and he cast the tables out of his hands and break them beneath the mount and he took the calf which they had made and burnt it in the fire and ground it to powder and strawed it upon the water and made the children of Israel drink of it all right that must be that must be what y'all want the Heavenly Father to do, man. To drink of... To, to, to turn Beyonce into fucking dust and powder and make you drink that bitch, man. While you you can have something and throw some ice cubes in it so you can have something cold to sip on while y'all getting burnt by them nuclear missiles, man. Y'all must want that. And they said they were dancing, right? Well, what were they doing inside this video, man? I see lots of dancing and shit. I see all this dancing and shit. And, and nothing but women and faggots in here, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and and you a survivor. Talking about you a fucking survivor. Well, let's see you survive that day of judgment. Let's see. Some of y'all might never make it. Listen, the Heavenly Father got got some got some got some got some some plans for y'all, man. He, yo, when Yahweh Shai come back, alright? Cause he's no cause cause the, yo, listen, the spirit is known as 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 the as the, the ultimate terrorist, man. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck, fuck ISIS, Al Qaeda, fuck all. That. Forget about all that, man. Y'all got y'all got something crazy coming for y'all, man. And you're not gonna be a survivor in that time. <laughs> you're not. You're gonna be totally opposite of of what a survivor is. All right. You're gonna be weeping and crying and gnashing your teeth, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the day of the Lord is is, is 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 the day of the Lord is destruction, man. People are crazy, man. Especially you freaking women, man. 
Look at all that. And it said what? What did it say? Let's go back here. And it said, and it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the, the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing, and Moses' anger waxed hot. You people, you people must want that, that hot wax, man. Yeah, 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 everything's a game, man. Everything's always funny, man. Especially you so-called, so-called white people, man. You know what I'm saying? Who are, who are the always behind this wicked shit, man. Everything wicked, you always gonna find a fucking Edomite, man. A so-called white man. White man. Always behind this shit, man. Look at, look at these Edomites, man. Of course the women of color come together with these homosexuals, man. Eve, of course you're going like you're gonna you're gonna uh you're gonna wanna be um want the want the homosexual man to have equal white rights in the LGBT community and shit, man. Of course they're gonna be behind a, a Beyonce a Beyonce um uh a church. Why wouldn't they, man? Cause this world is wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? You 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 people, man, y'all don't <laughs> yo man. Oh man. and looks to the world as a partner not an enemy so if that's new to you i hope it's good news so he's saying so he's saying look into the uh, they have a community that looks uh, to the world as a partner you know what i'm saying but all right so if yeah if if if, if you look to this world as a partner then let's see what that means about you because um because um apparently you must not know what the world is about you know what I'm saying? But y'all, oh, y'all do. But y'all know that y'all fucking up. Y'all know that y'all blaspheming against the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but you don't care. You know what I'm saying? So, real quick, this is Job chapter 9, verse 24. And it says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. If the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, what does that mean for you people who want to be partners with the people in control of this earth, which is this world? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and this fucking homosexual just said, this homosexual just said that they have a community that wants to be partners with the world. What does he mean by that? What do y'all think he means by that? He means he wants... They want they want a one world universe, right? One religion, right? Which is that that one religion means you can practice all religions, like uh, Church of Beyonce, which is all of it. It goes back to worship and Satan. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It says, Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And are they not covering the faces of the judges? All right? Because they're making Beyonce one of the judges by, by making her um, appear to be an idol, appear to be a, a, a goddess. All right? Forget about Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father. No. Beyonce is what we want. All right? Going back to my, my, um, my next scripture, right? Which is going back to um exodus right let's go back let's jump back to exodus all right let's jump back to exodus because really quick um in, in exodus y'all did the same thing israel did the exact same thing man there's no new thing under the sun i can't i don't know why it's not working it's a lot of kids And when the people saw that Moses, Exodus 32, chapter um, um chapter 32, verse 1, Salaki. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Make us gods which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. So y'all impatient. And the more this, the more this, the more this world goes on, without 
the presence of Yahweh Shai, without the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the more this world goes on, can't y'all see that 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 the world gets crazier and crazier and more wicked in that cuff? That cup just keeps spilling over and spilling over, and the iniquity keeps on continuing. Do y'all not see that? Well, look, it says, Exodus chapter 32, verse 1, And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron. All right? They weren't being, they weren't being patient, right? They, they, they said, it says, and said unto him, up make us gods which shall go before us for as for this Moses the man that brought us out of the land of Egypt they knew that Moses took him out of captivity yet they still said yo we don't know where he's at we don't know what's going on make us another god to worship after the heavenly father already told them not to worship other gods man he said I am a jealous god you know what I'm saying but no, they make us new gods. Well, that's what y'all doing. That's literally, that's literally what y'all doing, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't went from the so-called white man, which is who you think is who the world calls Jesus Christ, which that's not his name. Y'all don't went from that image, right? That Caesar Borgia image, who the, who, who the earth is giving it to the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof, all right? Which is that white nigga, that faggot homosexual that y'all got in those in those churches. Or hung up on the cross. Y'all went from that to Beyonce. You people are confused, man. Yo, man, you, you women of color are confused, man. And you got men in these churches, too. You people are confused, man. The more this wicked kingdom goes on, the more wicked things happen in this world, man. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm going to continue, and it says... We would not know what become of him, right? Oh, it's Lachia, like, and the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. Y'all covering the faces of the judges. All right, I'm going to continue, and it says, Which are the ears, Salakia? And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears, and brought them unto Aaron. And he received them at their hand, and fashioned it with a graving tool, after he had made it a molten calf. And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. And they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt sacrifices, uh, burnt offerings, and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Well, look, it's a lot for going so fast, but the point is here, right? And they rose up early on the morrow. This is Exodus 32, uh, verse 6. And they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. Are not these people rising up, playing around and shit? Look at that, man. Look at that, man. All they're doing is fucking around and shit, man. Dancing and shit and singing and shit, man. And praising this bitch. Tell me about the progressive nature of Grace Cathedral. I think a lot of the people who show up tonight are people of color, LGBT people, people on whom other people... Of course a lot of people that showed up tonight are, are people of color. They're Israelites. And going back to Exodus chapter 32, our people love to worship idols, man. Michael Jordan, Jay-Z, LeBron James, man. You people worship these people. You know more statistics on all these people, but you don't know anything about the Lord and Savior, the person, the man that's supposed to come back and save you. Y'all don't know anything about about him, but y'all know that y'all know, yo man, y'all know fucking LeBron James fucking shoe size, man. That's a goddamn shame, man. That is a fucking shame, man. You know LeBron James shoe size. You know what car he driving in. Y'all know where he live at. Y'all know um how many kids he got. I don't know if he got kids, but. Like y'all, y'all know these things. Y'all know things about this man's personal life. Yet y'all don't know anything about who the world calls Yahweh Shai. All right? You don't even know that he died on the cross because the image that you got of, of the man that died on the that you think died on the cross is not him. So you don't know anything about him. You know nothing. You don't know that he walked on water, even though that's famous. You don't even know that stuff because the whole time you're, you're the image that you're 
you're, you're, you're looking at walk on water, die on the cross, is that so-called white man that they have in these pictures, in these movies, and in, in, in the churches, man. Get out of here, man. I, yo, man, I'm, hey, if, if you're not tired of this world, Akiya, man, you're not in the right spirit, man. We need to get up out of here, man. I'm tired of this place, man. We, hey, GMS wants to go home, man. You got all these other Israelite groups out there doing um Israelite award shows, man. Going to the uh to the to the land of um Jerusalem right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to succeed in this in this in this society and shit, man. If you're not in the spirit of getting the fuck out of here, man, and wanting to go home, then you're not in the right spirit, man. This is a wicked ass kingdom, man. And each day, each second that this kingdom goes on, man, that cuff just runneth over, man. You people dig a bigger hole for yourself, man. Like, come on, man. Yo, this is crazy, man. But I'm going to continue with the, with the video, man, because there's some more blasphemy. There's more wickedness that's going on here, man. Those narratives have been projected. And, I mean, just to be honest, the church hasn't been the best about lifting up those voices. Really began as us saying, how can we actually be the people of God that we hope to be in the world? And Beyonce is the perfect. You can't. All right, especially not Jew. Not first of all, man. Homosexuals to be put to death, man. Number one. All right, the LGB. He talking about LGBT community. They're supposed to be put to death. Leviticus uh twenty and thirteen. You know what I'm saying? All right. If a man shall lie with another man, as he lie a life with um with a woman. Salaki, if a man shall lie with mankind as he lie with another woman, he shall surely, both of them shall surely be put to death. Talking about men and women. And you fucking pedophiles, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is going on with you people, man? That's number one. And then number two, you can't be, in order to, to wait, what did he say? He's talking about, um, let me see, serve God and stuff. They always talk about serving God, man. And as us saying, how can we actually be the people of God that we Okay, how can we actually be the people of God that we hope to be? Well, let me show you. One, stop being a fucking homosexual. You can't do you, you can't be that. <laughs> you can't be that and be the people of God. Because even the people of God can't be homosexuals. Alright? And everybody is not the people of God. You know what I'm saying? All right, and we're gonna prove that right now, cause unlike your homosexual ass pastors without the beards on their face that eat pork and shit, all right, we're gonna prove everything we say with scriptures, man. All right, so this is Acts chapter three. I'm gonna start at verse one, and it says, actually, it's like you. Um, I think I might be at the, you know what, I am at the wrong chapter, I believe it's Acts chapter 1 verse 3, oh, it's a lock, you know what, it's not Acts, it's Amos, it's a lock, you yeah, Yeah, because he wants to know how um we can be the, the people of God, right? Alright, well here, here here's your answer. This is Amos chapter three, verse one. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So first and foremost, my my my, my brother, alright, you must be an Israelite first in order for you to be the, uh, a man or, or people of the Heavenly Father, all right, that you so-called want to be. You have to be an Israel Israelite, all right? Two, you can't be no fucking faggot, all right? You can't be in this fucking, you can't be in this world, all right? You know what I'm saying? You can't love this world. How you going to love this world and love Yahweh Shai, I mean, the Heavenly Father and his son Yahweh Shai? How you going to do that, all right? How you going to do that because... The, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, hates this world. He hates this world. This world is filled with iniquity, man. 
So how are you going to love this world and love the Heavenly Father, the, the Spirit? How are you going to do that? So no, you can't be um, the, the people of God, man. It's impossible. All right? Here, it's like Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that I that the Lord hath, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. For all your iniquities. The things that you're doing right now in this video. Alright. Verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So. The spirit is saying. The scripture is saying. You can't love this world and love me. That's what Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is saying. Because he hates this world. So that's the answer to your question, homeboy. And Beyonce is the perfect passage to get that message out there. Honestly, I think Beyonce is a better theologian than many of the pastors and priests in our church today. That is not... I mean... Yo, man, the pastor and the priest, them priests, them motherfuckers, them faggots, know them, they know the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? So that bitch don't know nothing compared to them, because they're actually scholars, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, as far as, like, you know, she's an Israelite, so she she's still better off than them niggas. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why you saying this is because those people are false prophets, man. That's why you're saying this. That's why you're able to say this stuff, man. They're false prophets. They're homosexuals like you. They touch little boys. All right? The Christian churches, um, all they have nothing but pure wickedness going on inside them. They ain't doing, they eating pork. They, they cut their beards. They let women preach. They, they probably, they be fucking, each, they be having sex with each other, uh, um, wives and shit, man. Christian priests, preachers and stuff, man, they cucks too, man. They cuckle too, man. I'm gonna continue, man. Exaggeration. According to a recent Gallup poll, Catholic church attendance has gone down nearly 40% since the 1950s. But tonight's Beyonce mass is set to draw crowds in the hundreds. And though I don't consider Beyonce to be a religious symbol, like some of her most ardent fans, there's no denying her strong use of religious symbolism. Look at her. Look at all this shit, man. This is some wicked shit, man. On down nearly 40% since the 1950s. But tonight's Beyonce Mass is set to draw crowds in the hundreds. And though I don't consider Beyonce to be a religious symbol, like some of her most ardent fans. I'm gonna pause no it right here, because you see this shit, her in the water and shit, man? That's like, that's like Dagon, man. You know what I'm saying? Or, um, what's the, what's the siren from, uh, Starbucks? They got the, Starbucks has that, uh, um, <clears throat> Starbucks has that fucking um that symbol, right? Let's look that up real quick. That Starbucks symbol. What the fuck? Hey man, it should be bugging sometimes, man. It's a lock yeah. Starbucks. Starbucks logo. Yeah, because the first one was this one. It's like it. The first, this is the first one. Right? And I think they changed it because, you know, it's, it's uh, oh, well, it's clearly, um, a goddess, though. See, oh, yeah, the mermaid siren princess. Yeah. That's the, the, the mermaid, um, siren. Siren, siren of the... Uh, it's what it's a it's a it's um like a goddess that controls the minds with sex of uh, the men the men with sex and shit. That's all this bitch is, man. It's a fucking siren, man. She's doing this same exact symbol right here that you see while she's uh in that water, man. You know, basically, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Look at that. Denying her strong use of religion. You know, um, 
and and I want to I forgot what I wanted to say, but you know the spirit to come back to me. You know that, that siren man, like like I said, they use these women, man. They use pussy, man. You know what I'm saying to uh, to control men. You know what I'm saying? Symbolism throughout her music and performances, paying homage yeah. to everything from she does she does use symbolism. She worships Satan, man. All right, she just marked herself for death because those of you who don't know, when they touch themselves four times like that to make the cross from their uh their head to their chest and then both um the two parts of their shoulder, that's um they marking themselves for death because a cross is a symbol symbolize of death. So when you wear a cross, that symbolizes death. All right, you're marking yourself for death because the Romans crucified the Howard Shy on the cross, which he was marked for death, and so was um they they I believe they hung two other men on the cross. They were also on crosses. So, because they died on the cross, does that make um, them holy? Like, like the, who, who the world calls Jesus Christ? No. All right? Just, just because Yahweh, yeah, whatever Yahweh Shai touched was holy, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? But y'all taking it to a whole other extent. Y'all worship the cross, man. Y'all wear the cross everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Y'all put the cross on top of the churches and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The Lord gave us one symbol, and that was the um the six-point star, man. You know what I'm saying? To to be, not to be worshipped, but, you know, that was our that's our symbol, man. You know what I'm saying? The star of Judah, you know? Star of David, man. You know what I'm saying? He gave, he gave that to us, man. Like you, it's like you. So um, yeah, man, y'all not supposed to be worshiping these these uh crosses and stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying he said lift up the, the the cross cross meaning go uh go on the path that I that I go. You know what I'm saying you're not you're not to you're not to worship a, a cross, man. You know what I'm saying. Supper, Black Madonna, and the Virgin Mary herself. I spoke with Reverend Yolanda Norton, hey, Beyonce fan me, and organizer of the event, to find out where the idea came from to mix Beyonce with the Bible. The event was. It came from the idea of Satan, man. Born out of a class that I teach uh, called Beyonce in the Hebrew Bible. So I walked them through this process of thinking about how the music of Beyonce helped us have conversations about black women and how we worship and our spirituality so talk me through how you analyze you don't have spirituality man y'all don't have that y'all don't have that because if you did you wouldn't be doing this shit man it's a song like flaws and all for your students she has this ambiguous audience right in the song maybe it's jay-z maybe it's her fans but i love it when she says you know I'm a train wreck. I'm, I'm a train wreck in the morning. I'm, I'm a bitch, bitch in the, the afternoon, afternoon, right? I'm a bitch in the afternoon. Every now. Man, you women are bitches all throughout the day, man. I'm gonna keep it real with you. It's coming from a man who's dealt with a lot of women. <laughs> Trust me, you women are fucking bitches all throughout the damn day, man. And then without warning, I can be really mean to you, right? I can be really mean towards you. So what we do in the worship service is we make that about a conversation that we're having. Satan. So if you imagine that as a prayer to God, you 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 don't you're not having conversations with God. First of all, the Heavenly Father is not talking to any of us right now, man. Huh? He said you have to talk to me, talk to me through my son. He gave us Yahweh Shai to talk to. So you can't talk to the Heavenly Father, man. Damn, man. And, and, and furthermore, you women can't talk to Yahweh Shai. You got to talk to us, and we send up the prayers, man. Damn, man. Y'all off. I don't know why you love me, and that's why I love you, right? I neglect you when I'm working. Yep, we all do that. <laughs> so it's really about naming black female spirituality is embodied in that song. Naming the black female spirituality. Yeah, Satan. That's the spirit. You got the spirit of Satan. The Lord be with you. So with you. Lift up your hearts. We live in a world where a mostly male church debates whether or not women should be ordained. But Jesus chose. All right. Well, the man's supposed to be. Man, listen, man. Let me get one scripture real quick. Obviously, y'all don't know the scriptures, man. I'm gonna put a scripture out, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna end it here, man. Cause um, like I said, my rib is in the hospital right now, but the spirit. Listen, man, the spirit had me come out here and do this video and I got to get back in there. Um, you know, 
I brought this out. My 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 uh, child was born today. Um, but hey, man, I had to, I had to come on and do this, man. The spirit is out here, man, and all hell's about to break loose. So you people better wake up, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get one more scripture. I'm gonna close it out. Cause uh, you know, cause cause like he said he said that that statement as if there's something wrong with men <laughs> ordaining uh the being ordained in the churches and and and, and, and being in rulership. You know what I'm saying? He he. I mean the the men that are out there that's supposed to be set up in these churches are all are are not prophets anyways. But the way he said that was if, if the, as if there would be a problem if there was real men that were calling all the shots. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to be. That's how the Heavenly Father set it up. Oh, so like you. You people gonna learn, man. Especially you women, yo. You women gonna learn, man. Like you. This is Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 31. And it says, And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, all right, are men, and I am your God, saith the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. All right? And ye, my flock, his flock, his gathering, the flock of his pasture are men. And he is the Lord, your power, said the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. He said it, all right? So ain't nothing wrong with men leading and these women falling in line, man. Hold on, let me get one more scriptures, man. You people in this world, man, y'all seem to have a problem, man. With These women seem to have a problem with listening to men, real men. Slacky, I wasn't direct. All right, Slacky. This is um First Timothy, um two and eleven. It says, "Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection." Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, all subjection. So you going off, my man? Hold on. Hold on, you going off, my man. What'd you say? Let's bring that back. We live in a world where a mostly male church debates whether or not women should be ordained, but Jesus chose Mary of Nazareth, a woman of color, and another woman of color, Mary of Magdala, to be the prophet of the resurrection. So what is very clear... He said to be a prophet of the resurrection. Yo, the prophets are, are speaking about the... Re uh, res already speaking about the resurrection. Uh, wait, so like it. The prophets are speaking about the revelations, actually, but uh, the revelations now. But the prophets speak about the resurrections. The prophets speak about um, all things concerning. They will they will break down everything for you. And he didn't set up women to do nothing but have children. All right, that woman Mary had a child. All right, and that child is our savior. All right, he is our savior. He is the one to be um to be uh praised. You know what I'm saying? All glory, honor, and praises go to the Heavenly Father, but He is the one that we have to go through to get to the Heavenly Father. He set Him up. Salakia. He set Him up. Not Mary. Alright? So, you have a problem with this scripture, man. You have a problem with this the Bible and, and, and instructions for women, as it says right here. And it says... 1 Timothy 2 and 11 Let the woman learn in silence With all subjection But I suffer not A woman to teach Nor to assert authority Over the man But to be in silence For Adam was first formed Then Eve And Adam was not deceived But the woman being deceived Was in transgression It was her that did it Alright so we not to listen to these fucking bitches, man. These bitches are to listen to us, all right? And with that, 
I would like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechal Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here pushing the truth and sincerity. The water for what you do. We love you and we appreciate you to the spirit. All right, it's your brother Dawa Dot from the GMS camp in Atlanta. I'll be right to giving you another edifying lesson through the spirit. All right, Shalom.